Hello everyone, this is Hinukan and today we are going to go over fishing. Because let's face it, this game has some beautiful water and there's a lot of fish to be caught. So to do that, the first way is to get a fishing rod. Now to get a fishing rod you have a few options. The first one is to go over here to the trader. So let's do that right now. Now when you get to the trader, look in her inventory and you'll see that she has a fishing rod for sale. Now, it's a little bit expensive because we can see here a diamond ring is worth 150 The expensive wine is 30 and her perfume is 20 That just gives us a baseline. You'll see that she wants two actual diamond rings. So that's 300 but it is a little bit more. You can get probably like three cans of food. Yep. And that'll get you the fishing rod. The alternative, which is much cheaper unless you just have stuff you want to get rid of, is you can actually make it and all it is is eight wood plank and one rope the rope you can make from cloth which is just three of those so I usually opt to just go ahead and make the thing so there we are we have our fishing rod now the next thing you're going to need is bait so let's go get some now to get bait which is just worms all you have to do is pick up plants now you can see right there I had already gotten a worm off of the mushrooms and there's another worm right there. You won't get a worm from everything that you pick, which can be mushrooms, potatoes, strawberries, anything that you can harvest like that. But you will get some. I'm going to look around for a few more and then we'll go fishing. So let's do that now. All right, now that we have some bait, the next thing to do is try to catch a fish. You don't have to drag the bait onto the rod or anything like that. Just have it in your inventory or in this case on your hotbar and go ahead and cast it out. Now let's wait for just a little bit. It doesn't take too long. Now here's the part that gets people. You don't have to click fast right here, but what you do have to do is if you notice at the very bottom of this jumping slider, there's a white square. You have to click at perfect timing and get it right in that white square, just like this. Now, alternatively, if you cast out again, I'll show you what happens if you don't get it in the square. So right here, let's say I click too fast or too late, I lose the fish. So once more, we'll catch one more and then I'll show you the fishing nets. Like we said before, you need to get it in the white square right there. Now that white square can be anywhere on the slider bar, but as you saw, we got a tarpon this time, so not bad. Now let's move on to the fish nets. Now first things first, you'll need to go to the research table and in tier one, you're going to see the fish net. Go ahead, click on research to unlock it. Now, with that unlocked, you'll be able to see this under the food category, fish nets. So let's go build a few. Now to make things a little quicker, I have placed some down already, but here is what this will look like. So again, food, go out here just enough to get some out into the water. I usually build about three or four at a time. And then after a bit, you will see, you can go up to the fish nets and harvest them with F. And look at that. That is how you catch a lot of fish. But this isn't the only kind of fish you can catch. There are marlins and sharks. So let's talk about those. I'm going to show you how to hunt marlins and sharks a much easier way than trying to do it underwater with a spear or an axe. So that said, let's go back to the research table. And under tier one, you have a crossbow. If you can unlock that, go ahead. Otherwise, you can just use the bow. So let's go ahead and unlock the crossbow and you'll also need the bolts. And with that unlocked, 
let's go ahead and craft our crossbow and let's make a stack of bolts and let's go with two why not and once we have that built we're ready to go find some marlins now there actually are marlins very close here at castaway island where you start and look there they are so to do this normally you cannot use a crossbow or any this also works with any firearm you can't use anything like that underwater but if you get right to the top of the water you can so as you can see i can see the marlin quite clearly i'll take the shot i hit him you can tell because he sped up as soon as he slows down a little bit we'll get another shot on him there you go that's two i missed the other one let him slow down that's three and we have our marlin so harvest and there you go that's how you get marlin fish skin and also the large fish meat so the next thing we want to find is a shark and a shark that's real close by is right here at the mansion so let's go over there real fast there he is now obviously I don't want to get too close to the shark because well he'll try to eat me so we'll take some long distance shots on this one we'll get a little bit closer let him get broadside so it's easier to hit and we can one There you go. And with that shark harvested, we have shark fin and some more large fish meat. That was it for how to catch fish, marlin, and sharks. If you found this video helpful, then please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.